You know how they communicate? At first, they, they see a guy that gets up, and that's getting up, is painting all over the place. Then they come to find out that if they're like at a legal wall or something, they say, hey, what's up? I'm Jive, or hey, I'm Emit, or something like that. And they meet, and then they talk, and they exchange phone numbers. And then they'll, hey, let's go out some night, or let's go, you know, down to the legal wall in peace and stuff. And that's how they, they communicate. That's how they, um, you know, a big thing now is the uh, internet. Say that, for example, this kid uh, does his piece. He'll take a picture of it before anybody can ruin it, because there's some jealous graffiti writers as well that'll actually go over it. As a matter of fact, you can see right here, somebody did go through it. He took a paint can that wasn't there when the kid finished. But anyway, they'll, they'll post it on the internet. And some guys will say, hey, that's great. Some guys will say, I don't like it, you know, and they get critiqued, um, you know, and, and it's, it's just a way for them to show their work all, work all over. Just like I was telling you about the freight train. The freight scene used to be, you know, in the early 70s or the 70s and 80s, it was the New York City subway system. Well, they got rid of the graffiti there, and now they, they, got it, they went up ground and, and started painting the uh, freight cars. The reason why they paint the freight cars is because you can paint a freight car in Danbury, and I know that's happened because I was on the Internet, and the, the freight car was seen out in San Jose, California. So they get their, 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 their names and, and their styles and stuff seen everywhere.